Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the month of April 2023. We're gonna just dive right in and see what's coming your way when it comes to April 2023. I'm gonna start out by just doing a quick overview of past, present, future energy that just gives me a little bit of context as to what's been going on. Okay, and... Wow, okay, interesting. Very strong opening energies with the Queen of Swords. Um, this could just be you showing up um, in your very clear air sign kind of energy. Two of Cups, Death card could be dealing with a Scorpio. Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be somebody that you know from the past. Um, could, could have had a relationship with this person, but... You know, somebody who is very cold or detached from this connection could be you or could be your person. And I have a feeling that this connection came to an end uh, because the Queen of Swords can sometimes just mean like detaching from a certain type of energy. In the past, you've got uh, very nice energy with the Ten of Cups. I think you're very happy in a situation, in a connection with someone. Uh, you've got a brand new beginning in love. This could be a brand new person or a brand new beginning with somebody from the past. In the future, I almost feel like with this interpretation of the Tower card, it's almost like they're trying to save the foundation of it, but something that did not work will fall off. So I have a feeling that you're trying to repair something or mend something which works at a foundational level, but some aspect of it or some element of it was, had stopped working. So you're going to like kind of let that part fall away, but make sure like, you know how these people are trying to push the foundation of the Tower back into um you know back on to uh it's it's stable sort of level i that's the fa feeling that i'm getting i don't always get that from the tower card but let's see let's get some clarifiers but the ace of cups is looking really nice in your current energy sometimes ace of cups can also just mean like self-love looking after yourself like you're feeling good in your energy maybe you've come across some success in your overall life and that's making you feel really happy and connected to your heart chakra once again ten of cups please in the past for aquarius the magician ace of cups the nine of pentacles and the tower yeah okay the page of swords interesting hold on hold on nine of pentacles king of wands and we've got the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so i feel like a cycle almost comes to a close but then there's a pause because some news comes around. See, the world is also showing up in reverse. That's your energy right there. Okay, this is what I'm picking up. Um, and we'll get more details. But in the past, I think you were manifesting a healthy union, happiness, bliss in a relationship. Like, you know, that, that nice, secure, psychological safety, uh, very happy, healthy relationship. In the present, I think this, this Ace of Cups is more to do with just being self-fulfilled. You're focusing on yourself with the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you've been focusing a lot on work and some of you have gotten a new opportunity to become like a leader in your profession or just really level up your um, professional energy. And that has really opened up your feeling space and you're feeling really good in your energy. In the near future, you receive some communication or you decide to communicate with someone that makes sure that at least the foundation of this tower doesn't come crashing down. Now, this could be communication around a connection that you already have with someone. Um, but this communication really helps put this tower back into its place, but makes sure that whatever is not working is, is, is left in the past, but at least the base of it is protected. That's what I'm getting. Okay, uh, I'm going to just clear out this deck and just start to see what's coming towards Aquarius in the month of April. That will help us understand this energy better. So what is coming towards Aquarius in the month of April 2023 when it comes to love? What can you show us? What's coming towards Aquarius? The Two of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Cups. Wow. And we've got the Strength card. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a lot of new beginnings, um, new opportunities. This could be a work opportunity as well. Oh, but I think it's a love offer. It's a love offer that somebody is making to you or you decide. Oh, wow, look at that. You've got the Ace of Cups underneath that. What's going on? We've got the Emperor. 
somebody maybe has been very stubborn about a situation and finally they come around or you've been holding out because you've been really stubborn and you wanted to just kind of focus on your own healing your own energy and now you're willing to make a brand new beginning so take it as it resonates with your specific situation what's coming in for you in the month of april is i think you have options in love or you're gonna get busy um engaging with very positive energy because uh, you've got family life you've got somebody who makes you feel very content very stable um and i have a feeling that you know you've been trying to fight off your feelings for someone or a particular situation um I want to investigate that a little bit more. Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card here? The five of swords, the page of pentacles, and the star. That's your energy right there. Hmm. You finally learn in the month of April how to kind of deal with something that is very conflicting to you internally. Like a part of you wants to let this tower fall, but a part of you doesn't want to. So the month of April makes you investigate that and you also receive some communication or you have a conversation with someone that helps you make this decision. That's what I'm getting. But you're very, uh, you're showing off in a very strong, bold energy, I must say, in the month of April. Like you're not going to get easily swayed by your emotions. You're going to have a good handle on your emotions and therefore you want to take a very sound judgment on this connection. You also have options because we did see aces. We've got death at the bottom of this deck. So it could be dealing with a Scorpio, queen of cups, six of pentacles, three of cups. You could have reconciliation with somebody from the past. Um, king of cups, queen of cups. Yeah, we do have a divine pair here. Hmm. Interestingly, I just did a reading for Scorpio and they had a very similar energy of somebody coming from the past and also the option of new people. So I think your reading is reminding me of the Scorpio reading as well. So, okay, what is your guidance, spirit team, for Aquarius? What is your guidance? So the Ten of Pentacles has shown itself with the Page of Wands. You're receiving some news. You're receiving good news about long-term stability. This could be about money or your work overall, or somebody wants to build something long-term with you. What's your advice for Aquarius when it comes to love for the month of April 2023? What should they focus on? Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. This is, so for me in the tarot, right, figures or people that are looking to the left, it's all about indication of the past. So I feel somebody who's been holding back now wants to have a brand new beginning with you. And you've all, you're going to examine this in the month of April and you're going to see whether you want to hold on to this or you want to let this go. There's a decision coming your way, Aquarius, in the month of April about wanting a brand new beginning with somebody that you already know or just totally letting that tower fall um, and, and seeing if you want to explore some of these new options in love. I have a feeling that... Um, I have a feeling that maybe the new person might just be better energy for you, but then you have three of cups at the bottom of the deck as well. So I really don't know. You'll know your situation. Queen of Wands, somebody you still find very attracted uh, to, you find yourself very attracted to, you have a lot of love and affection for this person. And this cycle does not want to come to a close for whatever reason. Um, so let's do one thing since we have somebody from the past and somebody new I'm gonna first tap into the new person or the new aces that have shown up in Aquarius's energy for this person what are their thoughts feelings and desired outcome with Aquarius so the new person that's showing up in Aquarius's energy what are their thoughts on the connection the three of pentacles they want to make this work what are their feelings for Aquarius Ooh, Empress, they have very strong affection, love for you. Nice. And what is their intention with Aquarius? The moon. Mm. One more on the moon. The page of swords. Okay, so I think uh, in, when it comes to their thoughts, they definitely want to make this work or maybe they work with you and therefore there's some fears whether this can work out or not. Their emotional space is showing me that they have a lot of pure love and affection for you with the Empress. They're very drawn to you. They're very attracted to you. Um, but I think this is somebody who's not going to chase you. 
like they're sitting pretty in their truth and they're like well if you want me come and get me aquarius it's that kind of energy because their desired outcome is also a bit like something is not clear and either that communication needs to take place first for them to really know where your head is at where do you stand on this and then accordingly they'll decide how they want to approach you uh let's check in on the new person oh sorry the person from the past i want to see their thoughts feelings and desired outcome with you what are their thoughts on this connection with you aquarius eight of cups okay they feel that you walked away or they walked away uh what are their feelings for you what are their feelings for you two of swords kind of closed off energy what is the outcome that they desire with you what is the outcome that they desire with you oh look at that the lovers and the two of cups oh my god this person wants the happily ever after with you they think you're their soulmate but this is interesting in their thoughts and feelings there's some kind of stagnation let's go once again on their thoughts what's the eight of cups king of swords okay so they want to walk towards you because the king of swords is aquarius for me so they would definitely like to move forward with you um what's the emotions two of swords what are they not seeing high priestess wow really keeping their cards close to their chest maybe because they're very hurt and they don't want to get hurt again yeah permit they're kind of doing their own thing they're trying to heal they're trying to glean the lessons from everything that happened between you and them in the past see there's a lot of hurt the moon and the five of cups there is a lot of disappointment pain attached to this connection but despite all of that the outcome that they desire with you is that you guys come back into the soulmate union because they do see you as their divine counterpart as the person who brings them immense joy and happiness wow so the decision is for you to make aquarius whether it's a new person or the person from the past what is guidance for aquarius for the month of april 2023 honey oh engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and it's funny when i saw the card i almost said honeymoon even though the card said engagement because this deck also has a honeymoon card in there and i thought it was that one so i don't know aquarius but maybe somebody is going to propose to you or you're thinking of proposing to someone but you definitely want to ascend um this connection to a higher level so ask somebody to move in with you or pop the question or actually get married uh congratulations in advance financial issues are a factor in your love life right now but i think your finances are actually getting better so maybe in the past this was one of the blocks because now we did see the 10 of pentacles and what not true love this is the romance of a lifetime oh wow okay well that's pretty straightforward right there i want to just check in on the hidden truth like the person from the past what would they like you to know the person from the past what would they like you to know you let me down okay so this is that pain that we were seeing with the five of cups the moon card the high priestess you know they really feel like they invested they were all in and perhaps you let them down aquarius i couldn't let you get close to me hmm i guess because they were just continuing to invest so much and if you know you feel like it's not getting reciprocated then you kind of want to just bounce right uh, but they do love you see that fell out of the deck they do love you So that's some those are some messages from person from the past. So I don't know Aquarius if you feel there's some unfinished business and you'd like to maybe explore this. I think there's a soulmate connection here. But beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Wow, that's a little bit of tough love there from <laughs> our spirit team for you Aquarius that maybe in the past you know you felt like oh this person has xyz traits that you're really not too fond of and spirit is asking you to examine whether you go back to this person or not whether you you know engage with a new energy just be very conscious that you know we're all made of the same stuff and what we react to in others is often what is a potential trigger for our own selves so something to think about that it takes two to tango Um, and sometimes the way we're responding to somebody else is also a way that we're responding to what's already within us. I'm going to close off your reading with a few fortune tea leaf cards. Okay, we've got three that have fallen out. So it says not unsuccessful plans. 
I feel this is in the past, you know, something just didn't come to fruition or something that you thought would work out in a certain manner did not. But bridge, there is a bridge. You're successfully overcoming a problem. And we've got bell. Ooh, an announcement. I really feel like some of you guys, like these are like wedding bells. Like you guys are getting engaged, like tying the knot. You know, I almost feel like even though this card says unsuccessful plans, but I think you're bridging this energy of what didn't work out to making a very clear announcement or declaration of love for somebody yeah that's what i'm picking up on that i think you have learned what you had to learn and just be conscious of this that you know whatever we react to in others is also what exists within us and then i think you could have something very interesting um coming out of this whole situation so that's what i have for you aquarius for the month of april 2023 if this video resonated please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel take care Bye bye